whether it's automotive components or whole vehicles. If India is one of your target markets, you will sooner or later have to think about having your products tested there. India is working very hard to develop its automotive industry, so you will be actually spoiled for choice. There are more than five facilities available for testing, each with their own individual strengths and weaknesses. In this video, I want to shed some light on these options to help you to make the best decision you can. If you've been dealing with or preparing for the homologation of your automotive products for the Indian market before, you will certainly have heard of ARAI, A -R -A -I, the Automotive Research Association of India. Perhaps you've considered this as your go-to testing facility. That's all good and well, but there are other options available to you that could be better for you in specialization, cost or location. I'll try to give you an overview with this video so you can make the choice that is right for you. First of all, let's consider a map of India. India's slant spans more than 3000 kilometers from north to south. So you might want to choose a lab that is closest to your customer. From north to south, the labs are ICAT, the International Center for Automotive Technology, close to New Delhi. Two, the National Automotive Test Tracks, or NATRAX, which is around indoor, right above, right about in the middle of the north-south axis in India. Three, RI, which I've mentioned in the introduction. Four, VRDE, the Vehicles Research Development Establishment. And five, the Central Institute of Road Transport, CIRT, or CERT, are all close to Pune, which is next to Mumbai, a bit further south. Finally, sixth, further south is GARC, the Global Automotive Research Center, which is around Pondicherry. Now, there are and were some others around India, such as NCVRS, which was closed in 2017, but also globally more famous players such as TUV, SGS and DECRA, who of course offer plenty of testing capabilities. However, at the moment, only above mentioned six are listed under the CMVR, the Central Motor Vehicle Rules, which is the law dictating the development of this entire testing infrastructure and hence to provide testing resources for Indian product certifications such as AIS. So we will focus on these only. Okay then, apart from location, there are some other differences between the six mentioned labs. RI is the oldest and very well established and a capable laboratory. However, what they do not have are test tracks. For track testing of vehicles, they generally use VRDE. VRDE, on the other hand, has a fully functional test lab, which by their own definition is there for the entire automotive market, but which in fact focuses heavily on specialist and military vehicles. CIRT, CERT, the third around Pune, on the other hand, is the second oldest facility after RI and hence with equally strong capabilities. They, however, focus very heavily on components and materials. Closest to New Delhi and therefore to our Indian office is ICAT, which despite being newer, is arguably the second biggest facility, testing facility in India with close to all testing capabilities necessary, including their own test track. The National Automotive Test Tracks, in short NATRAX, is, as the name suggests, the test lab with the most test tracks. For many test applications, such as high-speed, multi-friction brake testing, fatigue testing, gravel, dry handling for 4W, wet skid pad, noise track, and others. Lastly, there's GARC, or GARC, in the very south of India, which is the smallest of all, with a focus on advanced passive safety, EMC, EMI, as well as Infotronics, CAD and CAE. Okay, that was it. I hope this information helps you in your preparation for entering the Indian market with your automotive products. Of course, as always, feel free to ask any questions that you may have. You can find the relative contact forms on our website. Thank you for your attention. Take care.